Hello everyone. Welcome to the section of fingerprints. Here I am going to explain about how to compare fingerprints. Before going to the topic, we have to know about important words relating to fingerprint. So at first, fingerprints. Basically, there are three types of fingerprint patterns: arch, loop, and word. So now we are going for the comparison of fingerprint pattern. Before going to the comparison part, we have to know about the ridges. These black lines uh, on the portion seen are the ridges. They are drawing a red line. It is that black portion is the ridges. And this print is a loop pattern. So loop pattern. And in this, the portion seems like a, uh, which the triangle like structure. It is the delta of the loop pattern. And uh, the center part of the portion of the fingerprint is the core. Then the white color portion seen in between the ridges is known as the valley of the ridges, which is where the uh, sweat pores are seen. For the comparison, this sweat pore is also important. For the comparison of fingerprint, there are basically three levels to be used. The first one is the pattern. When we consider a pattern, we have to identify which pattern it is. For example, here uh, it is a loop pattern. Basically, there are different types of patterns for the identification. The main three are first one is arch, and second one is loop, and the third one is whorl. And these are the three basic fingerprint patterns. The second level for the comparison is the minutia points. The minutia points, which means the ridge characteristics. For example, this portion is no, it means the bifurcation. Bifurcation is the point where the ridges forks or diverges into branches ridges, and these features are called the minutia. There are different types of minutia points or ridge characters can be used for the comparison or identification of fingerprint patterns. Here I am taking the this pattern as the question sample for the comparison and the above pattern is taken as the specimen sample. For the, for the comparison, we should mark the point of identification. This point one. This point one is bifurcation next is the point number two this is point number two is bifurcation which is above and towards the right side of point number one with no ridges intervening then point number three point number three is bifurcation and this point number is above the point number two with the no ridges intervening then point number four Point number 4 is bifurcation above the point number 3 with the no ridges intervening. Then point number 5. Point number 5 is bifurcation above the point number 4 with the 1, 1, 2, 3. 3 ridges intervening. Then point number 6. Point number 6 is bifurcation above the point number 5 with point number 5 with one ridges intervening then point number 7 point number 7 is bifurcation uh, which is above and towards the right side of point number 6 with no ridges intervening then point number 8 this is point number 8. Point number 8 is bifurcation above and towards the left side of point number 7 with 1, 2, 2 ridges intervening. For the admissibility of court, we should identify minimum 8 ridge characteristics. So, on comparing this question sample with the specimen sample, we got similar 8 ridge characteristics. Thus, the fingerprint is matched.